It's good to see you again on this beautiful, bright, and sunny day in Saddlebrook, Arizona. You know, we are approaching quickly Palm Sunday, and we'll worship together on Sunday and honor the Lord and remember that day when our Lord came over the Mount of Olives and saw the city of Jerusalem waiting for his grand entrance. People were shouting, Hosanna, praise to the king. But did they really know what they were saying? Did they really understand who he was? And we're going to talk about that on Sunday morning. Also on Sunday morning, though, we're going to ask ourselves, what was Jesus thinking when he saw the city of Jerusalem and saw and understood the fact that when he got there, he would suffer, he'd be brutalized, and eventually he would have to die on the cross for us. This week, many Christians refer to it as Holy Week. And I would like for us as a congregation to spend Holy Week meditating on the last days of the Savior. In the bulletin this Sunday on the back of the sermon outline will be a schedule of readings for Monday through Resurrection Sunday, Easter. It will give you the opportunity to read one of the events in the life of Christ during that time and allow that reflection to shape and to mold you as you anticipate the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. It's amazing when we start that journey together. On Monday, we're going to read that he had to go into the temple to cleanse it one last time like he did at the beginning of his ministry in Jerusalem. Sadly, the dear people, the religious leaders, never got who he was or understood the gift, the joy that he was bringing to them. And one last time he wanted them to know they had to purify themselves to know God and to have that relationship with him. And I hope that every day as we take those readings, we meditate, we journal our thoughts, answer some brief questions, that maybe God will purify us and shape us around the things that are special to Him. So this week when you come, come prepared to do a little homework during the week, to ask God to speak to you, and let's celebrate Easter season as a congregation like we never have before. And my prayer is that as we journal together, that God will bind us around the hope of the wonderful resurrection. I'll see you then.